Hi, I'm Lyra from Vermont, and I live in an enchanted garden. Before I tell you more, please like and subscribe. My house is surrounded by high gates and weird plants. That's because mom is like a famous witch doctor. She makes medicines from herbs that can cure every disease imaginable. Once, mom even made a potion that cured a man's blindness. When I was little, I'd wander into our gardens and pick flowers for mom that I was convinced had magical powers. This one will make me fly. This one will help me grow a mermaid's tail. Sweetheart, these flowers can't do any of that. How about instead, I make these into a crown for your hair? But I believed mom's potions could do anything. Time after time, I'd watch them make miracles. By the time I got to high school, I decided to drink mom's mixtures each day to see what they would do to me. They could give me super strength or a perfect memory. I knew I had something good ahead of me. On the first day of ninth grade, I was in the hallway when I heard crying coming from the janitor's closet. I opened it to find my BFF Charlotte crouched behind a trash can. She was a grade ahead of me and had lived next door to me since we were little. If you're a boy and your name is Roman, I don't want to talk to you. Girl, it's me. Want to tell me why you're crying in a closet? The new boy Roman just called me a pig and said no guy could ever like me. And he's right. No one's ever asked me out. I'm ugly and I'm worthless. Before I could answer, the door swung open and two teachers gave us detention since we weren't supposed to be in the closet. Charlotte and I sat in detention together after school and I tried to comfort her some more. Maybe this Roman guy is a jerk to everyone. At that second, this gorgeous guy walked into detention wearing AirPods and apparently it was Roman. All the girls in detention were mooning over him. Suddenly, Roman walked over and sat at the empty desk next to me. Yo, tomato head, has anyone told you it's rude to stare? Has anyone told you that's not the way to speak to people? I also know how you spoke to my friend. You're a jerk. She's your friend? I feel sorry for you. All of a sudden, Roman <gasps> leaned on my desk and put his face less than an inch away from mine. If I were you, I'd stop hanging out with that awful girl and give me a call instead. I'd love to take you out on a date. The teacher then yelled at Roman, and my heart started fluttering. Oh God, what was wrong with me? Roman was a mean bully, and I could feel Charlotte staring at me, shocked. I decided I wouldn't go near Roman. I invited Charlotte over my house that day. I'm sorry Roman said all that stuff in detention, and that he hit on me. But don't worry, I won't go out with him. I wasn't mad that Roman hit on you. It was just confusing. You're like me. You're just not that pretty. What do you mean? I mean, come on, look in the mirror. Your hair's poofy like a lion's, your lips are huge like you had plastic surgery, and your cheeks are so red. It looks like you had an allergic reaction. I was stunned by everything Charlotte was saying and suddenly felt really self-conscious. Don't feel bad. I'm no beauty either. We just have to accept that girls like us won't ever get dates. I wouldn't get your hopes up with Roman. He's probably just flirting with you as a joke or something. I'm sorry, Lyra. I had no idea what to say. I wondered if what Charlotte had said was true. I watched my favorite MSA videos to keep from worrying about it. The next day at school, things took a turn. I was at my locker when I saw Roman standing behind me with a bouquet of flowers. I was joking when I called you Tomato Head. The truth is, you have the prettiest hair I've ever seen and I really want to take you out even though you have awful taste in friends. Sorry, Roman, but I'm not interested in bullies who hate on people for no reason. And keep the flowers. I already have a garden full of them. Wait, you're the daughter of that healer lady? She saved the life of someone I love. I could have sworn he had tears in his eyes. Then suddenly Charlotte came up and yanked my arm, pulling me away. Whoa, easy, what's going on? Come with me to the bathroom. When we got there, Charlotte pulled out a bag with two sweatshirts. Here, put this on. I bought one for myself, too. But it's summer. We're gonna be really hot in these. Lyra, you can't wear a tank top like that to school. Your skin is sort of blotchy all over. I have bad skin, too, which is why I always wear long sleeves and a turtleneck. I don't know about Roman, but if you don't wear long sleeves, your skin will gross the other kids out. You know what? I'm fine with the way I look and I'd rather not sweat to death in a sweatshirt. I walked out of the bathroom and avoided Charlotte for the rest of the day. I hated to admit it, but her words got to me. Worst of all, 
The more I looked at myself in the mirror, the more I realized Charlotte had a point. My skin was blotchy, and my face looked super bloated. That entire week, I covered myself head to toe in baggy clothing and even wrapped a scarf around my face. What if Charlotte was right? What if my appearance grossed out the other kids? One day, I was walking down the hall when suddenly a boy jumped in front of me and waved his wallet in my face. Hey, mugger girl, you forgot to steal my lunch money today. How many times have you been to jail? Four times or 400 times? I didn't realize wearing comfortable clothes was a crime. Before I could answer, Charlotte jumped in front of me like a ninja. Leave Lyra alone. There's nothing wrong with people covering up if you have bad skin. Being ugly is hard enough for us without people like you getting on our nerves. At that moment, Roman pulled Charlotte out of my way so hard that she almost fell. What's your problem? You make me sick, Charlotte. And you're a jerk that's lying to her to be nice. Lyra's not some fragile doll. Charlotte shoved Roman and they started fighting. That was it. I let out a blood-curling scream that sent all the kids running and landed me in the principal's office. But I didn't care. I had reached my limit and was done being a victim. When I got home, I went straight to mom's potion lab. I had the most brilliant idea. I'd make an anti-anxiety potion to calm me down and feel more confident. And I didn't stop there. I bought myself a new wardrobe of summer clothes so I wouldn't sweat to death in all those layers I'd been wearing. Everyone would see my body and blotchy skin, but soon I wouldn't feel ashamed of it anymore. The next day at school, I had a teaspoon of my potion mixture, and then I marched right up to Roman's locker. When he saw me, his eyes lit up. Finally, you're back to your gorgeous self. Save the flattery for tonight. I've decided to take you up on that date offer. I felt my heart racing. I was done trying to protect Charlotte's feelings. Roman was so cute. I felt really exposed in my summer dress, but Roman seemed to like looking at me. I held hands with him the whole school day, which caught everyone's attention, but in a good way. I didn't know if it was the potion or being away from Charlotte, but I already felt 10 times better. That night, Roman took me to a fancy restaurant in a limo. It turned out he was insanely rich. And craziest of all, I learned over dinner that he was a musician and was coming out with an album. If I get a million dollar contract, I'll give you half the money, but on one condition. You have to pose with me on the album cover. Half my songs are about love, plus a beautiful girl will help me sell more copies. I started blushing and thought about the idea of being on a public album cover. Everyone would see me, millions of people, if the album did well. Before I give you an answer, I was wondering something. Why are you so mean to Charlotte? Most of the time you seem like a cool guy, but the way you called her a pig and told her no guy would ever want her? Do you know how much that hurt her? You have no idea the insecurities girls have to deal with. Who says girls are the only ones with insecurities? And I never called her a pig. But I did say no one will want her because she's a terrible person. She bullied my older brother last year. She made him feel like he was worthless. It got so bad, he ended up transferring. Charlotte had been a bully? I was too shocked to speak. Roman walked me home after dinner, and as soon as he stepped into my garden, his eyes filled with tears again, and he pulled me into a hug. Roman, what is it? Why are you crying? After Charlotte bullied my brother, he was under a lot of stress and got really sick. We were so worried about him, but your mom saved his life. The second I found out you were her daughter, I knew you were special. Please, do the photo with me, Lyra. You don't have to be ashamed of anything. With that, Roman pulled me close and kissed me. My heart soared and I felt happy for the first time in weeks. When I arrived, there were crowds of girls in the courtyard screaming angrily. I ran to see what was happening and to my shock, they were all gathered around Charlotte looking furious. Apparently, Charlotte had posted embarrassing photos of those girls online to get their boyfriends to break up with them. It's the only way I can get a prom date. If your boyfriends break up with you, then they'll get so desperate they'll ask me out. It's not fair. I've never had a date in my life. Charlotte started to cry, but the girls ignored her and stormed off. Even after everything Roman had told me and all the stuff she'd said, I felt sorry for Charlotte. Hey, listen to me. I know you don't believe it now, but you don't need a guy to prove you're worthy. How can you expect anyone to like you if you hate yourself? Easy for you to say. For whatever reason, you're dating the hottest guy in school. 
I also heard you might be the model for his cover album. You're going to humiliate yourself. Charlotte, I don't care what you or anyone else thinks of me anymore. You should care. Lyra, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to tell you the truth because I care about you. I don't want millions of strangers sending you hate when they see you on that album. I took a deep breath and reached into my backpack, pulling out my anti-anxiety potion. I knew at that moment, Charlotte needed it more than I did. Drink some of this each day, all right? You'll start to feel better. Just trust me. I walked away and decided right then and there, I was going to do the album photo. I couldn't let myself live in shame the way Charlotte did. But some weeks before the photo shoot, I was brushing my hair in the bathroom one day when I let out a scream. My hair was falling out in big chunks. I started to cry and immediately ran to mom. She got really quiet. Lyra, there's something I have to tell you. A condition runs in our family. We lose our hair around the time we're 15. At that second, mom stripped away her long red hair and revealed her bald head. It was after I lost my hair, I decided I wanted to be a healer. I'm heartbroken my hair is gone, but each time I'm able to cure someone else's lost hearing or eyesight, I'm reminded of what truly matters. I was at a total loss for words. A month later, all my hair was gone. I was devastated. The photo shoot was coming up. Soon, millions of people would see me without hair. But when the time came around, I tried to hold my head up and think of mom. If she could get through it, so could I. Dozens of copies were distributed the next week at school, and everyone told me how brave I was. Months passed by, and one day, I got a surprise in the library. Charlotte tapped on my shoulder, and to my shock, all of her hair was chopped off. I'm not saying you need it, but I made you this. It's my hair. Charlotte handed me a wig with long, silky brown hair. You inspired me by doing the photo shoot with Roman. I hope one day I can love myself the way you do. I know I've been awful to you, but I think you're amazing, Lyra. You're amazing, Charlotte. You just don't know it yet. Just then, Roman came up from behind, holding his new album. I wanted you both to have free copies. Charlotte, I hope you start to love yourself soon. Thanks, Roman. I'm starting with a couple of teaspoons to get me there. I love you so much. I love you too. Hey, don't forget me. 